to my channel. In today's video, we are doing something completely different. It's going to be a recipe video, and I'm super, super, super excited because it is my first creation of a smoothie recipe. It's called the Berry Nutty Smoothie, and I made up the name because it literally, I feel like, is a berry nutty smoothie. It has a lot of berries, a lot of nuts, whether it's coconut, nut butters, and things like that. So I am super excited to be posting this. Making smoothies and healthy meals have been recently a huge part of my life for the past two months now, um, almost two months now. And I, the last video I posted was in the summer when I was away on vacation. So I am back and I am so ready to start getting into a fun fall routine. And usually in the fall every year, I focus on my health most importantly, and also fitness. So I'm just starting to get back into my fitness routine now, and I've been on this health journey when it comes to grocery shopping and cooking meals at home and not eating out. Um, so I'm really, really, really excited to share all of this new information with you guys. I have a lot of valuable tips and tricks on um, some food items that you probably have never heard of, and just some tips on genuine like nutrition when it comes to the type of foods that you're eating and what nutrients you're getting in those foods. So I really, really hope that you enjoy this smoothie recipe. I hope you recreate it, and if you do, just make sure to follow me on Instagram at justchristinex3, and then hashtag Berry Nutty Smoothie so I can see and tag me in it. Guys, it is so delicious. I am so excited for you guys to make it, and yeah, I hope you enjoy, and let's get right into it. Okay, so we have some baby spinach that I got from Whole Foods. This is 365 is the Whole Foods brand. I will be using my Ninja today. Um, it is my favorite thing ever, literally. I'm one of my best purchases. The milk we're going to be using is called Milk. It is, this one is the unsweetened vanilla. It is almond milk. And what I absolutely love about this brand is that it's only four ingredients. Filtered water, organic almonds, vanilla flavor, and Himalayan salt. And you don't really see this a lot in milks. And it's just super healthy overall, like compared to any other almond milk and it just makes me really happy. So that's why we're gonna use this. We're gonna go in with one banana, some raspberries that I also got at Whole Foods. Um, and here we have some blueberries. I tend to believe that blueberries last a lot longer in Tupperware, so that's a great little tip for you guys if you find that they're not lasting long. And then we're going in with this Koyo vanilla bean coconut yogurt which is dairy free it is my favorite yogurt ever it is so so good if you haven't had it yet you need to try it and the ingredients are all good stuff so you don't have to really worry about being unhealthy with your yogurt um, the next thing is creamy peanut butter and I only buy the peanut butter that has like two or three ingredients in this case this is just dry roasted peanuts and salt this is from Whole Foods as well and it's gonna be the healthiest and great for protein and healthy fat the next thing is your main source of protein which is going to be black chia seeds now I bought this in bulk um, at Wegmans but you can get chia seeds literally anywhere. Um, it's really smart to buy your seeds and your powders in bulk at grocery stores. And then we are going to top off this smoothie with unsweetened shredded coconut. Um, of course, I always try to buy everything organic, and I got this at Whole Foods as well. The only thing that is in this is organic coconut. So that is great. And coconut is just really good for you, so I love putting that in. And of course, we are going to have some stainless steel straws with our smoothie because I am trying to minimize my plastic consumption. So let's get into making it. Okay, so let's take off the cover. And just in case you guys have one of these blenders, you want to look out for this blade because this is the sharpest blade I've ever felt in my entire life, and I've cut myself about 20 times. So just keep that in mind, especially when you're cleaning it out after. So first thing is first, I'm just gonna grab a handful of spinach and throw it in. 
You can kind of put as much spinach as you want in there, but I always do like a handful. And this is a great way, guys, to get your greens in for the day without even tasting it. You do not taste the spinach, I promise you. Next, we have blueberries. Um, I don't really do measurements when it comes to blueberries. I kind of just pour. So I would say like a handful of blueberries. Then we're gonna go in with our cranberries. Um, I just do a handful of these as well. After that, you are going to go in with your yogurt. We're gonna do a scoop of this, probably a tablespoon of this. All right, and we're just gonna throw this in. Next, we're gonna go in with our peanut butter. We're gonna do a tablespoon of this as well. going to go in with our banana we're gonna put the whole banana in there this is actually a smaller banana than normal so that's that's good this is gonna make your smoothie extremely creamy that is the best part of adding banana all right so I just broke the banana in half and next we're gonna put in a handful of chia seeds I kind of just eyeball this um, and pour it in like on the side so not too much all right that is just about enough if you don't like the feeling of like seeds in it then you can skip this step um, but it's a great complete source of protein if you are vegan and last but not least we're gonna go in with our milk and this is about halfway filled so we're gonna use the whole thing we're gonna do about one cup of milk and just make sure you shake this up really well because of this sea salt. All right, good to go. Pour it on in. So we don't have enough milk. That was the end of that. So I'm gonna have to use my unsweetened regular version, which I will show you guys. All right, so this is my favorite one. This, this is the organic almond milk, just unsweetened with no other flavoring. My favorite reason of this is because it's the healthiest one. It only has filtered water, the almonds, and sea salt, and it's super good for you. So we're gonna finish off our milk with this one. So we're gonna do the 1.25 mark instead of the one cup. Um, because I did not eat breakfast this morning, so I literally, like, need more. <laughs> Alright, and it's ready. Just put your top on, put the power on, and blend. Alright, so it comes out to be a little bit more of a cup and a half after all of that, so you can definitely share this with two people in your household and it will be perfect. All right, and now that it is all ready, you can go ahead and pour it into your mason jar. Comes out this really pretty, like purplish gray color. Oh, so pretty. You're gonna have some extra in here as well. You could use that for your second person or you can save it for later on or the next day. Then I'm gonna go in with some shredded coconut and just take like a little handful of it, like a pinch, and just spread it all on top. Like so. Super cute. And there you have it, your Berry Nuts Smoothie. It's such a pretty purplish gray color. You have your stainless steel straw and you are ready to drink. Ugh guys it's just so good we, I cannot wait for you guys to remake this and try it please make sure that you tag me and follow me on Instagram at just Christine x3 and just hashtag berry nuts smoothie so yummy